to April. This video is for your sun sign. And while you can use it for any part of your chart, this video right here is going to tell you why it is for your sun sign and then how you should also be using, you know, your rising sign, your moon sign to navigate different things like the love video right here that's going to be coming out pretty soon as well as the career video over here that you can be looking forward to. And so if you want to catch those, make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell and let's get started. This month, we're going to look at the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, what's going to be going super well for you this month, what's your biggest challenge going to be, what you should be avoiding this month, and then the best way to use this month to your advantage, as well as finding out what your crystal of the month is. The decks that I'm using today are the Cosmic Tribe Tarot and the Fuck It deck. If you want information on those, I do have affiliate links in the bottom because a bitch has to get paid. Okay, here we go. Okay, Gemini. The general theme for your month is that new opportunities kind of probably aren't coming this month for you. So what does that mean for the beginning of the month? Sorry, I know that sounds like bad news, but... I mean, it isn't because here we go. Beginning of the month, think about what it is you desire. What are the steps to getting there? Because by the time that you get there, if you work on those steps, you will get not only what you want, but something bigger, better, more beautiful than you even would have hoped for. Really, really focus on what it is that you desire, which direction you want your life to go because you can have anything you want. You are that powerful, you can manifest it. Now the, be the middle of the month, it's like, Maintain your focus. Don't let other things distract you. Stay focused because you're going to get what you desire, right? When we get to the end of the month, they're like, now all of a sudden, different opportunities are coming, not necessarily work or money opportunities. Um, you can find out more at your rising sign video for career or money. Um, but what's going to happen here is like somebody's going to give you something because they care about you because they like you because they love you and you have to be open to receive that because that's definitely going to be an asset for you so what's going to go super well for you this month they're saying you are totally on this manifestation track the chariot card you see how like all of a sudden these butterflies are popping up Butterflies are about transformation, right? You have this cocoon, this idea, and now it starts sprouting. There's a lot going on here. Um, there is all of this energy coming from, you know, like a higher power, and he's put directing it with his hands, like into the earth. The chariot card is all about, you know, using the law of attraction, using the power of your mind and what it is that you say and what it is that you write and your mindset and directing your life in the direction you want it to go. So stay super focused on what it is you desire so that that shows up in your life. Be really specific. I think there might be um, on the freebies page of my website a couple of worksheets to help you narrow that down or to really focus that in and get it working for you in your um to your advantage if you want. They're just like free downloadables. Um, in the description box below, we'll put a link, okay? So what is the biggest challenge going to be for you? And they're saying to fully feel it though, right? Like we might know what we want, but to like feel it if we're doing affirmations. So like truly buy into it and believe that we're gonna get what we desire is the hard part. That's why law of attraction doesn't work for a lot of people because they don't believe what they're saying. You can make affirmations all day. I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. Guess what, you don't wake up a millionaire. You know why? Because you don't believe it because it's not fucking true. If you say I'm in the process of becoming one, all of a sudden, oh, that makes it a little different. And then when you co-create that reality by taking steps to get there, right? So anyway, like I said, check out the freebies. I don't wanna waste the video talking about stuff that's already out there. So anyway, um, this is you moving towards success where other people are like hey wow how'd you do that like it's success is going to have its own challenges but this looks like a positive month for you should you stay focused on what you want and what you desire and like that's clear for you okay very very powerful and positive month for you not everybody's having that good of a month okay so yay um they're saying like for a lot of you the problem is confidence you might also want to look at that freebie i know there's a freebie on confidence so um you know what should you be avoiding and they're saying everything happens for a reason so avoid making excuses of avoid 
um, trying to say like, oh, well, that's a coincidence. No, the universe is showing you signs because you're so close to getting what it is that you desire. And so to stay on that path when things are synchronistic, like if there's an obstacle in your way, sometimes it is just an obstacle, but there will be a sign that tells you that, that this is a lesson that you need to learn something from. Or if it's like stop, reframe, go back, shift course, right? Okay, so what is the best way to use this month to your advantage? And they're just saying, you know, don't talk about things that you don't love. Don't whine, don't bitch, don't complain. And also don't do nothing. You can create whatever it is that you want to create. They're saying all this butterfly here stuff about transformation. And I don't know if you can see it in the video. I could see it out of, out of my eye. But there's like a little angel orb like floating around right here just a few seconds ago. I wonder, angel orbs show up. I wonder if I say that if they will. They're, they showed up, showed up in different videos. Anyway, um, point is, is that things are growing, shifting, changing. They're emerging. You're starting to get what you want. You're on a divine path. Again, that concept of law of attraction and what it is that you think about, you bring about. What you focus on expands is here because he's looking up to the heavens and he's asking for something and then he's pulling it down into reality, into the earth. He, his prayers are being answered. Okay. And again, with the chariot and um, interesting, this is the same dude. You see that? Whereas this deck has so many different people in it. It's got this guy, it's got this guy, it's got this lady, um, it's got some shadows and shit. It's got this other lady, it's got this couple. So like what are the, oh, look at this lady. She's blue doo da boo dee. See this guy? So many different characters here, okay? and. I think that's maybe the only two times in the deck that this fellow is featured twice. But there he is. You know what's interesting, actually, that might not even be the same guy, he just looks kind of similar. Cause upon closer, oops, upon closer inspection, he doesn't have a beard. Wait, there we go. He doesn't have a beard and this guy does. Also, like, one of them has hair on their belly and one doesn't. But the point is, is you're that dude. You're getting all the things that you want, and so you should be excited about it. I will see you in May.